In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to apply high frequency or conventional tens. For conventional tens, you want your pulse width or pulse duration set between 50 and 80 microseconds. You can see here I have it for 60 microseconds. And you want your pulse frequency or your pulse rate set between 100 and 150 Hertz or pulses per second. You can see here I have it set at 120. For mode, I just have it set on N, which means not modulated. Uh, that's the kind of most straightforward waveform and the easiest one for uh, clients to get used to and be able to report what they're feeling. You can also put it on M for modulated or B for burst. As far as the timer goes, it's C for continuous, which is what I have it set at, or the 30 would shut off after 30 minutes, or the 15 would shut off after 15 minutes. On top is where you will actually turn it on and then increase the intensity using the dials there. So we're just gonna try this a minute here. You'll also notice that with this machine, uh, you have one red lead wire and one black lead wire that would lead you to believe that they do different things, but they do not. Uh, most tens is a symmetrical biphasic waveform, and so both electrodes will spend an equal amount of time being the primary cathode and the primary anode, or another way to say it is both of them are equally active at nerve depolarization. So there's really no difference between the two electrodes. First thing that you want to do is to clean your client's skin with an alcohol wipe to get off any lotions or dirt or oil that might be there. So I'm just going to do that a minute, clean that off where I might put this. Okay. Once we've done that, uh, I'm going to pretend that my client has uh, intersection syndrome, which would be pain right in this area here and I am going to apply, basically you want to surround the area of pain with your electrodes with conventional tens. So I'm going to apply an electrode proximal and an electrode distal. Um, as far as your electrodes, you generally just want them to be at least an inch apart and then well adhered. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on by turning the dial and then slowly turn it up. Um, my client will simply tell me when she first feels anything at all. You'll notice that when I turn it on, the little LED indicator goes on, and that actually flashes according to the pulse frequency or the pulse rate. Since the pulse rate is 120, it looks like it's continuing on, but it's actually flashing 120 times a second. So I'm going to gradually turn up the intensity here, and just let me know when you feel something. Okay, and what does it feel like? Just tingling. Okay, so she has a tingling sensation. And is it really intense or kind of mild? Mild. All right. And so she has a mild tingling sensation. And that's basically conventional ten. So You could leave this on as long as you wanted, uh, up to really 24 hours a day. Um, and the conventional tens will uh, close the gate on the pain signals. Uh, conventional tens also seems to do some endorphin release as well, but primarily we think of it anyway as closing the gate. And uh, you could turn it up a little higher to get a little more intense tingling and that would be fine. Once you've got everything kind of set up and your patient says, yeah, I feel it, and it kind of feels like it's going through the area of pain, then you can play around with the mode and switch it to uh, modulated or burst. 